Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi. My name is Carrington, not your first time here, hi, or welcome back. If you enjoy anything that's going to be makeup or book related or both, this is definitely going to be the channel for you. Make sure you guys have subscribed, click the little bell so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and let's dive on into today's video, which is going to be talking about the very large. It's large and in charge. That's all there is to it. Um, books that I bought from Book Outlet. So I just discovered this site not too long ago. Um, they sell books for really cheap. Um, some of them are in like really good condition, um, like almost like they're brand new. You can get hardbacks, you can get paperbacks. They have frequent sales all the time. There's some that it looks like it's had some a little bit of like some wear and tear on it. Um, but usually those are ones are priced pretty cheap, pretty fairly. Um, you can also add up points um, so you can get money off. It's like 100 points equals a dollar off or no, equals $5 off and you have to at least have 100 points. But as you build that up, you can use the points to get things for free. They frequently send me coupons, things like that, that I can use to make things cheaper as well. I love going there. I am now going to be going there every payday. I still have like a large haul that will be coming as well. I'll do a video later on that. But in today's video, I just kind of want to show you all the books that I've gotten. I don't really know necessarily what some of them, <clears throat> a lot of them are about. So make sure you guys have subscribed and click the little bell uh, because I do frequently do book reviews, book rankings, all kinds of things. So go ahead, sit on back, get you a blankie, a nice pillow, lay in your bed, get ready for work, do your makeup, whatever the case may be, grab some snacks, watch this on your TV, whatever, and let's just dive on in. So starting off good and strong is going to be this one from Lisa Jewell. I do generally really enjoy a lot of Lisa Jewell's books. There was one called Watching You that I was not the most impressed with, I will say but mostly her books that I have read, I really enjoy. So I wanted to pick up this one called The Truth About Melody Brown. This was during a large sale that they had where like paperbacks were like $5.99 or under or half off or whatever the case may be. They were super cheap. So I made sure to pick this one up. I'm really excited to read this. This next one, I did not really know what to expect. I picked it up and it is huge. This thing is massive. I think it's almost like 700 pages, I think. Yeah, it's, it's 700 pages wild but anyways this is imaginary friend this um you know has some like wear and tear on the on the bind on the spine on the spine or the binding i'm not sure um but i've heard a lot of like really good things where if you can make it through this 700 page there's my great day uh if you can make it through like this 700 page book that it's really good and really worth it so i'm excited for that then we have one from Al alicia Al oh, wow it's alice feeney um, Alice Feeney. Um, I really like a lot of her books as well. I think that they're really good. And this is I Know Who You Are. I'm really, really excited to read this. This is kind of like a smaller, so you can get some that are like mass paperbacks. I know some people hate that. The one good thing about the book outlet website is before you click add to cart, it does say if it's going to be like a mass paperback, a paperback, a hardback book, or a like imitation leather type book, whatever the case may be, it will list that on there. So I did pick that up and I'm really excited. The next one is going to be Good Me, Bad Me by Allie Land. Um, I've never read anything by her. I don't know much about her, uh, but I do know this has to do with like a serial killer. And so I really do enjoy books that like follow that or um, I'm really into like true crime type things. This has nothing to do with based on a true serial killer or anything. They're just type of books that I enjoy. So I'm glad that I got that. Just, you know, there's going to be like a large mixture. I definitely have like some fantasy, some romance, some thriller, some horror. There's just something in here, contemporary fiction. There's just going, there's a lot in here. I just love books. The next one is going to be called The Book of You. One thing about them though, is that sometimes they will have these stickers that come on it. And I don't know how to get the stickers off. I, as you can tell, I have tried, could not get it off. Um, but the reason why I picked this up is because I had asked in a group like, hey, can somebody give me like just some good book recommendations? It can be really any genre. I'm not picky. I don't really have any trigger warnings, anything like that. And somebody had said the book of you, but they didn't put an author. And as going through Amazon, like there's a ton. And so I saw this book that was like on sale. And so I was like, I'll pick it up and see if this one is like that or not. Um, the next one is going to be 
I know you did it. This is just kind of about a girl who goes to the school and now um, people are dying and she is being framed, but also her life is in danger. So this sounded really good. This again was another recommendation um, where nobody put who the author was. So I'm hoping this is the right book and that it is good. The next one is going to be Be Silent Woods. I found this on Book Outlet, which I was so shocked because this is just like so highly raved about on Book Talk um, that I was really shocked to see it there. Um, but basically this is going to be about a mother and a, a mother, a father and her and his daughter who kind of like stay like in this cabin in the woods. They have a friend that will come and bring them supplies. Uh, but then one day, one year the friend doesn't show up and they're just like, well, that's fine. Like we'll make it. But then they realize slowly as their supplies are dwindling out that they're not going to make it. So now the dad's like, well, should we make it back into town? Because I've done some really questionable things and I don't want you taken away and I don't want people to find out it was me. Um, so it's just like a lot of secrets and like, I think it'd be really spooky to just have to live in like a cabin all year round and rely on supplies. I don't know, that sounds wild to me. The next one is going to be The Furies. I just picked this up. Again, it was something that was on sale and it sounds pretty good. It's just like about a group of girls that are at this academy and just like weird and crazy things just like start happening amongst themselves. Um, so I'm really excited to read that. The next one is going to be Just Like Other Girls. Um, by Claire Douglas. Um, somehow I ended up getting two of these books. Um, I'm not sure how I only put one in the cart, but they ended up sending me two. I reached back out asking them if they would like for me to return it to them. They only charged me for one and they were like, no, you can go ahead and keep it. So uh, I guess I'll just like gift it because there is this girl that we like share books back and forth. So hopefully she'll be interested in this book as much as I am. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see what this is about. So good that they had to send me two. I don't know. This next one is going to be stolen. Um, clearly this was like, so one thing, okay. This says, I know this says only at Walmart. One thing about Book Outlet is a lot of their books are new. They're, um, they get a lot of them from like Walmart, Target, um, other book retailers where they're trying to clear out stock they'll send them their the, the books. So this has the Walmart on this, but this really gives me like Madeline McCann vibes um, from what I know of it. So it's like this family who's on vacation, their daughter goes missing, the mom is like really upset, but like everyone around them is like, okay, but like, why weren't you watching your kid? Like, what, what, what were you doing? Like, why weren't you watching your kid? How did your kid go missing? So a lot of people aren't really willing to help her or release any information. So she's having to do this like all on her own. I don't know, I'm kind of interested to see how it ends because it kind of gives me, just by that snippet, Madeline McCann vibes and that whole story is just so sad. The next one is going to be Unspeakable Things. This is actually based on a true story where like these kids go missing and then when they return, they're not like physically harmed not physically, but mentally they're harmed, right? And so they're both, they're mentally and physically, they're not physically harmed, they're mentally harmed, wow, okay. And they just come back and they're just like not necessarily right. And so they're trying to figure out like what's going on when these kids go missing in the woods. It sounds insane and scary. The next one is going to be The Long Weekend by Gilly McMillan. No idea what this is about, but it said it was just like really dark and twisty. It was one of their newer books that they had got in. I find this to be interesting because it's like a paperback, but the way it's designed is like a hardback with like the cover. Um, and then it has like these weird pages. Can you, I don't know if you can tell where it's like really like textured pages. I don't have a lot of books like this in my collection period that has something like this. Um, so I just thought that was really interesting and really cool first off the bat. But um, it, like the cover looks really creepy and spooky. It even says up here, twisty, dark, and packs a punch, um, gripping and genuinely nail biting. So I'm really excited for that one. And then we have the look, the next book, Don't Look Back. Do I have one that says that? See, see, here's again, like when people like recommend books, sometimes they don't put who the author is. And so it's like a wild goose chase and Don't Look Back with another one. And I found, a book that said don't look back that was on um, a book outlet and so I was like well let me pick it up and see what it's about see if it's any good but um, this does you know kind of seem like it's like a fast-paced suspense so maybe hopefully this is kind of the book they were referencing because there were other ones that weren't necessarily suspenseful mystery anything like that and the person said it was a really good thriller so maybe that's the one so 
so I found this book and then I slowly realized after I bought it that this is actually going to be a part of the series. So I feel like I need to go and see if either Book Outlet has this, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, something like that so I can get the rest of the get the rest of the series. But I'm literally excited for this. Um, their book before this is called 11 Liars. Now we've got 12 Secrets. I don't know if there's any other books in this one. I would assume probably so. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't say. It doesn't say except for on the back, um, which sounds like it would go together. But um, Lisa Jewell gave this book 12 stars. Uh, Lee Child said it was excellent. Um, Sherry LaPena said it was utterly absorbing. So I'm really excited to kind of dive into this, check out that book. The next one is going to be To Tell You the Truth. Um, this is also by um, Jilly McMillan, which was kind of like that similar book. This one is not at all like that. It doesn't have like the cool um, cover or pages or anything like that. So I'm really excited for this. Again, I added just like so many to cart because the paperbacks were on sale for like super cheap. So I just added a whole lot to cart and that was one of them. The next one is going to be Those Empty Eyes. This is another one where somebody had recommended a book by a similar name. I saw this on Book Outlet, so I was like, I will go ahead, add that to cart. Um, then we have His Other Wife, which is like this really cool thriller. It's really nice, it's really compact. One thing I really like, and it almost feels kind of like a matte kind of cover, is this, this is from Book a, Book Oucher, um, bookatour.com. <clears throat> Um, so I'm sure, I'm sure they were probably just like moving products out, but I like the way that it feels. And I've noticed that this is the same kind of quality with a lot of their books that like I get from like book outlet or like other, you know, get from other people. Um, so I kind of want to check out the website and see what books they have. I think that would be fun as well. So this next one are going, these next ones, these next ones are going to be all by the exact same author. This is from BA Paris. I've heard so many people rave about her and her writing style so i really wanted to pick some of hers up so i got the prisoner i got bring me back and then i got the therapist um, so i'm really excited to see what the hype is surrounding her and her writing style the next book i got is called the butcher this is from jennifer hillier i absolutely love her i read jar of hearts by her and i was absolutely hooked it was so good so just like it just drew me in and so i'm really excited about this this is about a serial killer who was caught um, um but you know like there was a detective that was working the case um but then you know it's been like 20 years and somebody comes forward and says hey i have a family member that was murdered in a very similar fashion to how the serial killer did but get this it was years after the serial killer was put away so now they're like trying to like uncover the secrets is the person that they put in jail the actual um, serial killer it, did they do something wrong is he working with somebody so there's just like a lot of secrets to find out and I really really love her writing style I love the twists and the turns that she really puts in so I'm really hoping that I enjoy that book as well so next up is going to be a series I'm not gonna lie I haven't heard a lot of people really talk about this series at all but it's from Sarah J Moss um, we've got uh, Throne of Glass um, Air of Fire the assassin's blade and crown of midnight um as you can tell this book has a sticker on it the other ones did not come that way but i haven't really heard i know a lot of people talk about like um akatar a lot but i don't ever really hear anybody talk about like thorn of glass so i'm hoping that it's good i need to make sure that there's only like four in the whole series i think i only have four of the books um uh, and make sure i don't does it tell does anybody know what they tell you oh okay a throne of glass series it literally tells you right here and then it has a quarter of the orange and roses and the crescent six. okay so the assassin's blade i have that's the first book um then we have thorn of glass um which i do have crown of midnight which is this one and air of fire so i still need queen of shadows empire of storms tower of dawn and kingdom of ash so i need to make sure to go ahead and include those the next two books are from the same author as well. This is S.A. Cosby. This is My Darkest Prayer and Razorblade Tears. Um, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this author. I have not tried any of their books. I do know that I did pick up another book when I went to Barnes & Noble um, with my husband, I believe, and got another book there. 
Ooh, wait, did I not? Maybe I didn't. Yes, I did. All the Sinners Bleed is the one that I had gotten. So I'm really excited to really get into their works. They seem to be very hyped up, so I'm super excited. One cool thing about Book Outlet is obviously, you know, you have like Sarah J Moss, but you can also pick up some Stephen King books. This is called Bag of Bones. Um, I have never read this. My mom said, who is a huge Stephen King fan. If anybody wants Stephen King recommendations, that's the person to go to. She owns all of his books, reads them all. She's always so excited about them. And she said it was really good. So I was like, ooh, this was on like sale for like a really good price. Let me pick it up. The next one is going to be Don't Open the Door. Um, I have no idea that, so this is kind of like an FBI type story. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just saw the cover and thought it looked interesting and it was cheap, so I picked it up. I'm not a huge like FBI thriller, suspense, mystery type of person, but I'm hoping that it is good. The next one is going to be The Girls Who Disappeared. This is by Claire Douglas. I'm wondering though, because there's one that said, just like other girls, who's by her. And then this says The Girls Who Disappeared. Is this, is this a, um... I guess not. I guess it's not like a series. I thought it was going to be like a series and like maybe it had something to do with them. I don't think so. I think they're completely and totally different. So I'm really excited to add that to my list. The next one is one that I have been wanting for a while. This is by Simon St. James. So he is the one who did like the Sundown Motel and he is like, you know, a really like sought after author. A lot of people really seem to like and enjoy his books. So when I saw this online and for sale, I was like, add to cart right now. No questions asked. My husband can yell at me about the amount that I spent later because right now we've got books to talk about. Okay. We've got books to talk about. I've got things to say. The next one is going to be No Exit. This was just like so overly hyped on TikTok for the longest time. So I picked this up. This is kind of like a mass market paperback type of books. Okay, sorry, I had to itch my nose. Um, so this is about a girl who is going on a trip and then it starts snowing and there's no way out. There's no way for her to leave because of how much snow there is. There's no way to make phone calls, anything like that. But she sees this girl in a cage and she notices that some of the people that she's staying with, somebody is a kidnapper putting little girls in cages and she needs to figure out who before it is too late. The next one is going to be another one by Sheree LaPena. I really, really like her. This is called A Stranger in the House. Um, I have really enjoyed a lot of her other books. I've gotten quite a few for like my book of the month. So I saw this on there and I was so excited to add that to my collection. The next one is one that I have read before, but I don't actually own the book and I knew I needed it. And that is going to be Bird Box. This was on sale. Listen, if you've seen the movie, that's crazy. You know, that's a really good book or a really good movie, but the book is so much better. If you have not read the book, but you loved the movie, you need to read the book because in, in the book, it's just so markedly different because for in the movie <clears throat> one the ending's different i mean it's similar but it's different but then mallory you know you see her like saying and doing a lot of things and you are just like why are you doing and saying these things but then it, in the book you're able to grapple with what's going on in her mind and now you realize why she made the choices that she did and how hard and gut-wrenching they were for her and i honestly this is such a good book I would if you have not picked it up and you loved the movie you're gonna love the book so much more okay you just will the next one's going to be the couple at number nine again this was a book that has been on my wish list for so long on Amazon and I was just like I'll buy it eventually but then I just keep adding like newer books to my cart I literally have a whole entire shelf over there yeah filled filled to the brim with books that I bought from Amazon. I'll have to do an Amazon haul as well. But this is just always has been on it. And so I'm so excited now that I get to add this to my little collection. All right, this next book is one that I read. I read it in college as one of my health sciences class. I think this was like the introduction to health sciences. We read like a couple different books, but still Alice was one of them. And it was such a good book. I know it's been made into a movie. I have seen the movie, but I just loved the book. This is about somebody who is grappling with early, uh, early onset Alzheimer's and how it's like affecting her daily life and how she went from being like so successful to not being able to find her way home. 
how she's like having to grapple with like family dynamics all of that I it was such a good book I've read it before but I needed it back in my collection so I could read it again again it was just so good there are some books that are just so good to read over and over again and that's one of them oh so was bird box that was good too <laughs> We've got another Sheree La Pena one. Um, this is the end of her. I honestly don't know what it's about. Um, what? It's like a little penguin book. It was there. It was on sale. I like her as an author. So I hit add to cart. Okay. The next one is going to be Falling by TJ Newman. There's so many people on TikTok that were really just like hyping this up and talking about this and how it was just like so well written and the twists were something that they weren't really expecting. So when I saw that this was not only on book outlet where it's already cheaper than what you could get it on Amazon, but it's cheaper and it was already on sale with the little like paperback books that they had. I had to pick this up. I'm really excited to read this. It kind of, when I look at the cover, when I look at the cover, if we're going to be honest, and I was walking through like Barnes and Noble, Walmart, Target, their book section, and I saw this, I would think it would be kind of like a CIA, uh, FBI, like book that like I really just kind of wouldn't really get into, but Book Talk really hyped it up, and so I'm, I'm excited to try this out. Okay, all right. The last one for the paperbacks before we move on into the hardbacks that I got from the sale is another one from Jenny McMillan. And this is called The Nanny. Um, it seems like he does like a lot of like mystery, suspense, thriller type of books. Um, and so I just saw like there was quite a few that were by this author. And they all seemed like they were going to be really good. So I'm glad I picked it up. I kind of like half lied now that I um, have my hardbacks over next to me. Um, where I had said that I didn't have any more paperbacks, but I did because I wanted to put these two together. And I'm really sad that only one of them wasn't hardback. But this is going to be Michael Creighton's. We've got Jurassic Park and then we have The Lost World. So I have read both of these a long time ago. They are so much better than the movies. I know that makes people mad and upset. <laughs> But it's different, but honestly, just so much better. And I saw those and I had literally forgotten about them. Like I love the movies. I will watch those all the time. But I just forgotten about the books. And then I just saw them and they were on sale and they were, they were, you know, much cheaper than buying them brand new. And I was here for it. The next three books are in a series together as well. This is the Inheritance Games. Um, there's three books here. Somebody had told me that there may be four of these books now. I'm not for sure. Um, there was somebody who had read the Inheritance Games for one of their, for one of their book 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 groups or something like that. And they read the Inheritance Games and they said that it was really good and that they were like excited to move on to the other books outside of you know their book group. And so I'm really excited that I have that now as well. This next one, I'm not gonna lie, I honestly don't remember buying. Like honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, I don't remember, I don't remember buying this at all. There's nothing about this that I remember. Um, but anyways, here it is. So I hope that it's good because again, I don't remember buying it. The next one is going to be The Bone Orchard. So I wanna talk about this because I really think that like their customer service needs to be talked about and how good their customer service was, but also not super good either and let me explain so I was supposed to get a package that had books in it <clears throat> and there were two books mm, I think it might no I think it might be this one too I think I put them together for this reason which is going to be um we hear voices and um they were supposed to come in a package and with other books but they didn't show up and so I tried to call their 800 number, but after you stay online for like five minutes, it just kicks you off the phone and tells you to call back later. There's no one available. And I was like, I was only on there for five minutes. Like I'm willing to wait a little bit longer. So finally I was just like, okay, well now what am I going to do? So it said to like send them an email. So I instantly sent them an email. Um, one thing that I do with my packages, um, I don't know if other people do, maybe I'm just weird about it is as soon as I go to pick it up from wherever it is, my front porch, my post office box, wherever the case may be, I take a picture of the box. I take a picture of the box before I touch anything, front, side, back, underneath, all of that, so they can see if there's like something wrong with the box, whatever the case may be. 
I then open it up and I take a picture as soon as I open it up. And as I work my way through it, I just take individual pictures. And I noticed that these two books weren't in there. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll send an email with like, you know, this is what, this is my order number. This is what it's saying is supposed to be in this shipment. Because when you order all of these books, they can either put them all into one box. And a lot of times they try to put them in as few boxes as possible. But sometimes they do have to break it up depending on where it's coming from, <clears throat> um, how many they have in stock. Maybe they need to wait to get a little bit more in that they know is coming before they'll send it out, whatever the case may be. Um, and so I sent in all those pictures and literally 30 minutes later, nobody even responded to my email. They just sent out the package and it got to me so quick. Like they were just so good about it. So if you do buy from them and you need customer service help, make sure you're sent, taking good pictures, but also um, just make sure to email them and not call because I was not successful. Okay, this next one is these Violent Delights. Listen, I've heard this raved all over TikTok, Instagram, Bookgram, whatever the case may be, where everybody's like talking about this book. And I have this, I had this on my Amazon wish list for quite some time. I was sitting there, I was looking through it. And then I was just going through kind of some of the hard covers that they had on Book Outlet and this showed up and I had to grab it. Um, so this is like a 450 page book but I'm really excited and I hope that it lives up to the hype. The next one is going to be Little Disasters. I have no idea what this is about, no idea, but I'm hoping that it's really good. Again, like whenever you order them, they're just all in like really good condition. Um, so I'm really appreciative of that. The next one is going to be the book called The 20 by Sam Holland. This was really, really hyped up in a group that I was in and I saw this on hardback and I got it for like $8.99 for the hardback. So I was like, I'll add that to cart. Thank you. The next one is going to be All Hallows. This seems like really creepy and spooky and probably would have been perfect for the Halloween season. I was definitely going through some books this past month and then I got sick in October. So I didn't get to make my way through a lot of books that I wanted to, but this could have been super good. Um, I'm really glad I have that. Either I'll get to it sometime in the near future or maybe next Halloween because I have so many books. Okay, it's embarrassing. I read like 12 to 14 books a month, but I own... I wonder if I have enough to be a library. Oh, now I want to know. Quiet, inquisiting minds would like to know. Um, the next one is going to be Every Last Fear by Alex Finlay. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember ordering this. I mean, I'm sure I did because it's in my order history. I just don't remember ordering this and I don't remember what it's about. And that's going to be perfectly okay. This next one is going to be Things We Do in the Dark. Again, this is by Jennifer Hillier who um, did The Butcher as well as Jar of Hearts. And I really, really love her. I enjoy her writing style. I enjoy her twists and turns. So I saw this that was in like a hardback option for a really good price. So I knew I had to get that. Then we have The Collective, which is by Allison Galen. I have heard a lot of people say that this book and another one by her is really good. I don't know. It kind of almost gives me like maybe vampire or witch kind of vibes. I don't know. It says no killer goes unpunished. So. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm really excited. Okay, this is the book that started the stupid other like whole entire thing that, okay, so I have this book right here called Nine Lives by Peter Swanson. And I think there's other books to this. Yes, cause there's like eight perfect murders. And like, so there is a series. And for whatever reason, I got on to Amazon and I put in Nine Lives. And instead of Peter Swanson book coming up, there was this Maureen Johnson coming up. So I bought all that book besides that one, got them in, realized they're not the same author or the same series. <laughs> so I had to go and buy the Nine Lives by Maureen Johnson. Now I realize I need to go back and get more of these books. But still, this is the book that started all of the hoopla. Um, and so now I've got to, <laughs> go and try to find the rest of these books. So this is a book where I just wanna look at it and be like, thank you for the debacle. Like, thank you so much for that. Okay, next up is going to be Karen Slaughter. I had a lot of people in a group really say that she was amazing and like really recommended her in a lot of her works. So again, when I saw this, and again, their books are in really nice condition and I really like that it has like those really fun pages again. I know they're kind of annoying and I wouldn't want all my books to be like that, but anyway, it's not the point. Um, I was like, well, might as well go ahead and start my Karen Slaughter collection while I can while it's on sale. This next one is a hunk. This is a hunk. This is a almost 700 page book, 660 pages called Ordinary Monsters. I have never read anything um, 
by this author or I don't even know what this is about but it was huge it was in the fantasy and it kind of gave me like I really love just like this bird and like this backdrop so it gave me like some cool vibes and then also it has a Target sticker so clearly they get some books from Target that they're clearing out so I'm really excited to read that next is going to be if this book exists you're in the wrong universe i have no idea what this is about i literally just saw the cover and in the title and i was like i don't know what it's about but i need to know and so we're gonna know eventually we'll find out <laughs> the next one is going to be fable i thought this was going to be kind of like a retelling of like brave but it's not but like it kind of is if that makes sense like it's a girl that's trying to like find herself and like her coming of age story but it's definitely not like Merida or like her mom turning into a bear or anything like that. So I'm really excited to see how similar they are, how different they are. Uh, if I would consider this like a Disney like rewrite, like taking the story and like like twisting it. I don't know. I'm excited to, to see. It. The next one is going to be The Year of the Witching. When people were talking about like really good Halloween books to really get them hyped up for spooky season, there were quite a few people, not like a ton, but there were quite a few people that kept talking about this book. And so I was going through um, book or uh, book outlet. I noticed this and I decided I needed to get it. The next one is going to be She is a Haunting. I have no idea what this is about, but again, this was one of those where it was just kind of like really like amped up. And then it's really interesting because like the cover is she's crying but she's got like these things in her mouth and it's just kind of like what's going on here and i have no idea but i'm excited to find out this next one is going to be the collected regrets of clover so actually this was a book of the month book it's this was not this book specifically but it is an option on book of the month if that's um something that you're interested in book of the month where you get to like pick your book every month that gets sent to you so this was one of them and I just didn't pick it up. It didn't really like seem like it would be something that was super interesting. It was more of like I was trying to look for like thrillers, suspense, things like that. But then I joined like a book of the month group where we kind of like discussed the books that we were reading or what we what our predictions are for next month's books and just like all of that. And so many people said that they really, really loved this book. So I was like, okay, I'll need to add this to a book of the month box eventually. But then I saw this on Book Outlet and I was like, never mind. I think we're good. We're good to go. I was also to that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the next one is going to be um, Nothing More to Tell. This seems like really creepy. I have no idea what this is about, but like you have all of these like faces like etched out and I don't hear anybody ever talking about this book ever. Like there's some books in here that like nobody ever talks about, but like I've never heard anybody talk about this. So I'm wondering if it's even been read, if it's any good, if not, I don't know. I'm excited to find out. So we have two remaining books. The next one is going to be The Witch Hunt. Um, this is just like a witchy fantasy, not so much like thriller or horror. It's just kind of more of like a fantasy type of book. And I'm really getting into um, switching up because I've been doing a lot of horror and thrillers and just trying to like navigate towards like different genres for a little bit, see what I like. And so I picked that up. And then the last one is going to be like a horror book. I did not think I was going to see this on here on <clears throat> book outlet but not only that but also in hardcover i was shocked i was shooketh to my core so anyways we have pinata here and i'm really 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 excited to read this kind of see what this is about um but it was really highly recommended on horror book talk um, and so i was really excited to be able to find this so that is it for today's video where we are talking about all the books that I bought recently from Book Outlet. Again, I have another haul on its way. I will be doing that. Make sure you stay tuned because I have um, a, I'm going to call it thrifty. That's what I'm going to call it. Thrifty book haul. I went to some bookstores. There's people that I've swapped books with. I have, not bookstores. It was like a Goodwill. Um, I went to a um swap shop a lot of these books are somebody that i swap books with like we just exchange books that we read that we're willing to get part ways with so i have all those to share so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i have quite a few amazon hauls that i will have to do i'll have to do them separately or we are going to be here for hours okay hours and i don't have time to be here for hours you don't have time to be here for hours none of us have time to be here for hours okay i've already been filming a lot today we don't have time we do not. I'm so sorry. Um, that's all I got. That's all I can say. All right. So I just have tons of hauls. 
So if you guys are excited about that, wanting to hear more of my thoughts on these books, then make sure you guys have subscribed and click the little bell so you're notified of all my future uploads. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.